So, The Division Resurgence, aka The Division Mobile Game. Okay, full stop. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. You're barely 10 seconds into the video and I see you already about to downvote the video and leave a comment about how you absolutely despise mobile games. And I'm not about to sit here and try to persuade you one way or another. I'm just going to lay it all out for you. The highs and lows, key additions, obvious omissions, and my thoughts on it all. And then after all that, I'm going to let you decide. Now, what you will get is a fair and balanced breakdown video. And this is coming from one of the two content creators that, after playing The Division 2 several times prior to launch, publicly called that game out for not being ready for public consumption. A video to this day that is my most downvoted upload in my channel's history, but it actually proved to be quite accurate. So take all your corporate shill comments and stuff them where the sun won't shine. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and to be honest, I was truly surprised when the team at The Division Resurgence actually reached out to me and offered me an opportunity to test out the game, despite it being an EU closed beta testing right now. I was advised I might experience higher than normal ping due to my distances from the servers, but other than that, there is no NDA, there's no corporate sponsorship, no expectations, and no limitations to what I can show or how I can evaluate this game. So, let's get into it. Here are my thoughts and impressions of The Division Resurgence. When it comes to knowledge and experience with mobile titles, I'm as green as green can be. I think the last two mobile games I played were, in this order, Angry Birds for about 15 minutes and then Candy Crush, which lasted all of about 10 levels. But yo, I crushed those 10 levels. Point being, going into Resurgence, I had expectations, which for me are always exceedingly high, but I had no experience. So let's talk first performance. And I ended up downloading the game onto my Google Pixel 7 and then used a program called Mirror 2 so I could play it on my PC screen and record at the same time. Now I know there's other emulators out there like Blue Square, but this is a game that is not yet released. I didn't want all the hassle, so I just went with Mirror 2 for the larger display. I was able to use my PC sound and recording devices and also after a few minutes I made that switch over to using my older PS4 controller which I paired via Bluetooth to my phone. Resurgence has some graphic settings you can manipulate in games such as the overall graphical fidelity, sound effects, and some basic graphic enhancements. It runs at 1080p and 30fps, which I was actually able to maintain for most of my close to 3 hours of game time. Now despite the higher ping, I actually saw little stuttering, had zero crashing issues, and overall the game felt to me to be stable. A statement I can't make about The Division 2, which has been hit or miss with crashes ever since TU15 went live, at least for me on PC. Now in terms of visuals and graphic fidelity, I'm just going to be honest here, I actually expected it to look better than it does. There is a disclaimer displayed on screen that this is not the final quality, but I truly felt that with modern mobile phone technology, screen resolution, etc., anyways, I thought Resurgence would pop harder than it did. I started the original Division game way back in 2016 on a PS4, and I remember exactly how the game looked on that previous gen console. I've also played the OG Division game on PC on full ultra settings and am extremely familiar with how it looks in that setting. I don't know, maybe this is my inexperience with mobile games and how I should temper my expectations, but my thinking here is that my mobile phone is as powerful or more powerful than a PS4, so in terms of visuals, it should be able to at least hold its own with a PS4 that hit the market way back in 2013. Resurgence looks good. Don't get me wrong, it just doesn't look great. The character models are fine, the cutscenes seem fairly well put together, the settings are there. Again, I don't know, maybe my expectations for a mobile title are just too much. 
Maybe the kind of division mobile game I have in my head simply doesn't work for mobile. Maybe that game is simply too bloated and would nuke a mobile phone. Again, I have no experience in this field, so these could all just be my ramblings. But for now, let's just move on. Okay, so the game itself, what's going on here? Now, I've often reminisced about a Division game, maybe a DLC to the OG game that would drop us in with the first wave, back when the dollar flu was first hitting and spreading, so we could be there when it kind of all came apart, and Resurgence sort of does that, at least for a few minutes of the story. Now, you initially begin your campaign as a first wave agent. You take on the Freeman, a new faction, and then you get caught up in a blast, go into a, I guess, medically induced coma, wake up over a month later, and now the second wave have actually arrived, and you get confirmation of that when Fei Lao speaks with you in the base of operations. In terms of the gameplay loop, it mirrors that of the original Division game with missions, side missions, and the such. Repairing equipment, disrupting arms deals, helping civvies, it's all here in a more limited capacity than the 2016 release. There's also the Dark Zone, which I have not yet entered as I just unlocked a necessary level to attempt it. And there's also 4v4 conflict. Again, I just reached the level to give it a go, so I don't have any gameplay of that either. Map size is basically about half that of the original game. Now, just bear with me. If you could imagine a line drawn south of the original game's dark zone where it includes Napalm and then pretty much everything west of there, yeah, that's the Resurgence map. Expect original game run times from point to point, and then once you unlock them, fast travel areas will become available. It's not a small map by any stretch of the imagination, and when you scroll around, you do see familiar missions and landmarks available to explore. Where Resurgence really kind of meets or even exceeds expectations is in some of the additions it includes into the core base game, and these are the what-ifs Division Faithful have wanted to see in the base game for years. First up, I've got to mention this one, is the shared open world. Now, not only will you see other agents in common areas, which we're used to, but you'll see them outside in NYC proper. You could be running down a street on your way to your next mission area and then run into one or two agents, maybe even a full squad taking on a mission, and you can actually hop right in and assist them, which I've wanted to see and be able to do since I first dropped into New York City in 2016. There's also elements of the Division 2 showing up here as well. Specializations with progression and perk unlocks. Settlement building with missions built around assisting their progression. Gear sets with set bonuses are here. Different weapons baked in attributes like piercing, blast, and shredding. You've got different stats, gear. So there's an RPG element to this game. There's also a system of crafting and unlocking different weapon variants, looting, materials gathering. When it comes to economies and progression systems, Resurgence is by no means a shallow game. And even your character has 100 shade levels that can be obtained for shade rank passive bonuses. There's also the added mechanic for our agents to actually speak. Crazy, right? What the hell? Now, the dialogue is not always the best or thought-provoking, but at least they seem capable of opening their mouths. And I do remember being prompted with a dialogue option. It doesn't happen often, but I was given an opportunity to kind of shape what my agent was going to say. Now, one area that takes time to adjust to is movement. Now, admittedly, I'm not the best with a controller, and I'm even worse when using the screen as a trackpad, but let's just say that Resurgence took me longer than normal to adjust to. Movements are slow, inconsistent, and I would characterize them as plodding. For instance, there is cover all over the place, and the game is somewhat designed to push you into that cover, but then there's a delay when running up to that cover and attempting to crouch and attach to it. There's actually a setting in the menus that allows you to attach to cover automatically that just doesn't seem to work with any degree of consistency. I tried it with manual attach, I've tried it with auto attach, and I still find myself standing perfectly upright, exposed and looking like a damn fool when being shot from five different enemies as I frantically attempt to mash those buttons and attach to the damn cover. 
Since I opted to use and pair up my PS4 controller, I was able to enter the menus and actually hide most of this uber cluttered UI that's all over the place for players that use the screen for inputs. Now, once you get most of these overlays hidden and out of the way, NYC and the game in general looks much better. At least it does to me. There are options here for sensitivity. You can move most HUD elements around to your liking. And it even gets as specific as allowing for different sensitivity settings with different magnification scopes. In terms of how the game responds, like for movements, interacting with different elements, etc., it's a good few steps behind that of what I would characterize as last-gen console. As another example, even interacting with doors and ammo boxes requires some good old-fashioned guesswork and positioning, repositioning again and again to get your agent to, to do what it is that you want them to do. Quick summary, it is not as responsive as I would like. I'm not expecting PC movements here, but it could really use some refining and optimization. Since Resurgence is going to be free to play and topped off with the fact it's a mobile game, I'm sure you're wanting to know about and are concerned about the monetization system. Show us the MTXs, bro! Resurgence does have a fully stocked online store that uses its own currency. Sorry, I forgot the proper name here, but it basically uses Phoenix credits. Now you earn these as you play the game by achieving certain shade agent ranks and of course you're going to be able to purchase them. The first tier of these are cosmetics. 170 for a jacket, 100 for a shirt, that sort of thing. Just purely cosmetics. There's also weapon skins which work the same way. But then there is also these progression skipping areas. These come in the form of bundles. 5,000 credits for a high explosive demolitionist skill mod and it gives you all the resources and materials needed to fully unlock that mod. There's also tactical augmentation packs which boost the overall strength of your weapons. The same for gear and then you can even purchase credits which are used at the vendors to purchase items. Now after a few hours of playing I had roughly 2,900 Phoenix credits so at 5,000 credits for a skill mod bundle these can get pricey. There was no option for me to inspect how much real world money translated into Phoenix credits, so I can't give you any idea of how that conversion is going to work, but just based on what I'm seeing here, these are power level advantages that can be bought. So here's where I'm gonna kind of lay this all out. I'm gonna compress it all and ask those tough questions. And right out of the gate, my million dollar question has to be, who is going to play Resurgence? As in, who is this game designed to attract? And I'm not throwing shade here. I am one of the most staunch supporters of the Division universe you're going to find, but I'm honestly wanting to know who this game is targeted towards. Is it new players that have never experienced the franchise? Is it those grizzled vets that were there day one in 2016? Like, honestly, who is this game built for? Believe me, I love the fact that we get to see what The Division looks like with a shared open world, our agents actually speaking, it's built in and around the OG game, and there are progression systems, commendations, daily and weekly tasks just kind of pouring out of our eyeballs, but wasn't this concept kind of fleshed out and delivered early 2016 and those few years afterwards? And this question kind of naturally leads me to what I think was the biggest design flaw with the entire Resurgence game, that being NYC itself, the setting. You see, in the original game, NYC was able to deliver a vibe and a sense of impending danger and isolation on a scale I haven't seen duplicated in a game since. The city itself was alive and dead at the same time. It was your biggest ally with civvies yelling words of encouragement from the windows. It was also your biggest enemy. The cold, the storms, death all around. It's, the city was simultaneously breathtaking and extremely dangerous and it, it pulled off this feeling flawlessly. Resurgence draws on little pieces of that New York setting but falls far short of the vibe the original game was able to deliver. The boo, certain landmarks, mission settings, they all kind of exist, but it all feels very flat to me. Maybe it's not fair to compare Resurgence to the OG game, but when in many ways you bring back so many settings from that original 2016 game, it is naturally going to create these comparisons. 
There are so many examples I could give you, but probably the biggest is the lack of weather and a day-night cycle. In my several hours of playtime, I can honestly tell you that it is apparently always bright and sunny in NYC. I mean, where are the snowstorms so heavy you can barely see in front of you? Where's the darkness? I honestly feel that a complete change of location would have done Resurgence a world of good because those New York City comparisons, fair or unjust, they're gonna happen. Using a completely different city, say like Paris, Chicago, Vancouver, you know, some place with a significant city center that could support the winter climate would have given this game a better chance of making a name for itself. But when you make a directed attempt to tap into and use those NYC settings and the vibe of the first game, you have to be able to deliver. You see, the original Division game connected on such a deep level. And for many gamers, they have such visceral and emotional connections to that game. If you want to use that setting, reuse assets, locations, characters, and the such, then you have, and I repeat, you have to be able to connect with players' emotions the way the OG game did. And sadly, Resurgence does not. Once again, this could be my inexperience with mobile gaming, it could be my exceedingly high expectations, but Resurgence just doesn't deliver in this department. We understand the trends, and I think the transition to mobile titles is where Ubisoft sees their future, and yeah, it was only a matter of time before The Division found its way to mobile. Now, is Resurgence something I see myself playing every day? Honestly, no. But this is coming from someone that has an industrial strength PC gaming setup, spends most of his day in front of and staring at large monitors, and when I log off for the day, that's it. I don't find myself bored a few hours later wondering, hey, what am I going to do? And I need to entertain myself and reach for my mobile phone to get in some gaming. I don't know if I am the majority here or the minority, but at most, I could see myself maybe getting in an hour of resurgence gameplay a month. Now, it's not a knock on the game, it's just produced in a media that I don't interact with. Now, if they could incorporate those open world concepts, progression systems, crank it up to an 11 and squeeze it all into a remaster of the original Division game, call it the Division Rising Storm where we drop in with the first wave and a cold and unforgiving NYC and get to experience all that Resurgence tries to deliver on next-gen console and PC, Hell yeah, count me in. But until then, I'm still searching for that answer to my earlier question. Who is this game designed for? So, there you go. Basically everything I have seen, my thoughts and impressions with my several hours in Resurgence. I tried to touch on the new, the old, the positives, the negatives, and hopefully you were able to glean some little nugget of info out of all of this. Please leave me any feedback in the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond. Remember to smash that sub button and ring the bell to receive all my future upload alerts. If you could take a few seconds more to rate and or share this video, it would be greatly appreciated. You can also find and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and over on my community Discord server. Links to all my socials can be found in the video description and pinned comments below. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.